Good morning, you lovely lot, and welcome to today's episode, which is a beautiful Monday morning. Listen out for this. It's good to hear from you. And that was even worse, so we'll take it. We'll allow it this time. Who we're hearing from, and what we're allowing this time. Find out in today's episode. Thank you. Right then, good morning. Welcome to episode 51 today, then. Looking back, I'd just like to say, if we look quickly at the under-18s progress, and we can see that they are doing very well for themselves sitting top of the table there granted some of those teams are not great but as we know our setup isn't too great either also sitting top of the group for the under 18 division 3 cup so far just about so that's always awesome if we look at our schedule then we can see that we have played stoke lost 3-0 just gone before that then we had a eight win uh, eight Unloss, unbeaten run, which I was aware of when we lost to Stoke, and this is our eight be unbeaten run has abruptly come to an end. Some of these goals were pretty damn good, if I'm honest with you. And I'd just like to say that the youth facilities have also been upgraded. If I was just to have a look where it is, oh yeah, you can see here I was really angry about something. Youth facilities have been completed so if we head back to mm, where is it club info and we look over at facilities we can see then that we've got average youth recruitment good academy coaching now average youth facilities adequate training facilities average corporate facilities but the pitch is perfect or as some might say pitch perfect anyhow oh who's this yeah oh hello mr rebel yeah it's good to hear from you yeah yeah it's me your editor yeah yeah you, you hired me you remember so what, what's that you want me to include the you want me to include the preview of the youth intake i mean okay i mean if you're sure yeah yeah i'll do it right away mr mr rebel yeah 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 for sure yeah you too yeah have a good day have a good day yeah, you too. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bloody hell. Man, don't even know he hired me. What the hell? Here's our youth intake preview that we get towards December then. So, goal goalkeepers, the intake lacks quality in goal. Mark C. Centre-backs, we don't have particularly good centre-backs coming through. Mark C. Central midfielders, this year isn't a great year in central midfield. Mark C. Fullbacks, there isn't a great deal of quality of fullback. Mark D. Uh, and the remainder are all E's and F's, defensive midfielders, attacking midfielders, wingers and strikers, with wide midfielders and wingbacks failing to realistically even get onto the mark. It is being told that it is classed as a good intake, but in terms of the wider picture, this is probably not going to be a great intake. It's definitely a better intake than what we've been seeing previous to this one. Previous to this, I didn't even bother you showing you the intakes because everything would be down as E's or F's at best. Uh, there were times when some of these were even just not even marked, they were just blank, like the one under the F there. But I'll show you this one because we've had a few upgrades since the old days, I guess. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy that. And back to previous Michael. Coming up today then, in today's episode, we have got Wigan at home and then we're playing Bournemouth away, four days later apparently. If we get to the team selection, we can see that this is going to be the team we are playing. Am I okay with this team? I am okay with this team. So we're going to have a Conquo in goal, Linz Foster at the left with Tomlinson at the right, Chipley and Baptiste bringing up the centre of defence there. Doyle at the base of uh, midfield with Powell and Quinn in the centre. Um, just one on that. Kane Taylor and Orford have just coming back from injuries. Though he's just available for under 21s at the minute because he's going to get his fitness back. Candy on the left. Prove it on the right who's been in scintillating form lately. If we was just to have a quick look at his form we can see that the last few games apparently don't look like they've been that great but as far as I was aware, it felt like he was doing a lot better than what he was apparently being told. And then we've got Brandt up front playing that 
forward position who's not been doing great but such is life that we have to try and put up with it and uh, hopefully push him through so that's going to be it then we're going to go straight into the match I want to see an improvement tonight Wigan ah uh, I'm not too sure if I'm honest with you um, I don't think I can even have a look at it no. so on that if we quick not really do anything apparently but anyway we have the ball it's been put through to prove it prove it's starting to run he's having a shot and that has took a deflection that means Silva for Wigan can pick it up nice and easily Kuzan then with a throw for Wigan it goes to Hurd to low to Jurek to Hurd we managed to get it back a little bit though it's a bit sloppy we've let it go with the passing a little bit if I'm honest with you and that's a great shot from McGrath and it's gone in it's not going to be counted though it is offside apparently but that is a lesson that we should probably look to do a bit of marking if nothing else and I might switch it up to a 4-2-3-1 in a second as well because it seems to be that we're getting a little bit overrun even if we do have a bit of pace that though is a really really good goal that's a well worked goal if I ever saw one one shot on target and I think that's classed as a one goal as they might say Linz Foster picks up the ball then very fast with his reactions a candy doing bits Brandt just passes it straight into the six yard box and Quinn gets on the end of it coming up from that midfield position and getting a goal for himself we're keeping tactical changes I don't even know what tactical changes I did so we're going to go with no we're going kicking off the highlights this time then many many highlights don't like it when it's like that and that was a really poor pass from Baptiste there that was really poor okay and that was even worse so we'll take it we'll allow it this time oh my gosh another highlight okie dokie then prove it with the ball this time he puts it way over the top for a candy hopefully he's just going to put it in the box for him and he does but it comes off and it's a really bad first touch unfortunately West Brom was taking the lead there through Arana never mind Linz Foster then with the short throw and it comes back to him Shipley then ball at his feet a candy back to Shipley over the top to no one it's a short pass to Doyle instead to a candy he's gonna back to Doyle patient build up I like it and counter attack where it matters Doyle through the centre for Quinn. Quinn's going to go back to Baptiste. Baptiste's going to go wide on the right, maybe. No, he's not. He's going to go over the top, sort of on the right to Quinn. Quinn's going to bring it in for Brandt. Brandt's going to put it through to a candy. A candy's going to have a shot, and now candy is going to score. Second shot on target, second goal. Making it count where it matters. As we see, Quinn stops with the ball in that 18 yard area. Candy gets the ball, puts it into the six yard box. I thought he was actually going to pass it over to Brandt or something, to be honest with you. But no, he uh, takes a shot and scores. Prove it then with the corner in swinging. Uh, the keeper manages to come out and get it. Quinn then back to prove it. Powell with the shot this time. It's not a shot, it's to a candy. And candy gets a goal. And we are 3 0 up, boys and girls, in 22 minutes. Blimey, where are Wigan? Where, where have Wigan gone? Are they down the bottom? I don't even, I'm not too sure. We'll have a look after this episode because I'm sure that if we win, it's not going to change too much, if I'm honest. Prove it this time. Move ahead. Baptiste. And that takes a deflection, unfortunately, for Wigan. And that is 4 0 this time. Joe Powell, the scorer. All from a free kick, which was very worked. Very worked. Very nicely worked if I say so myself and that's a great effort from the lads that brings us up to half time then uh, I'm so far so I'm super happy with the amount of shots on target so far which I am I think we've had about five shots and six shots on target sorry and four of them have gone into the back line so that's always good they've made a quick change there doing a couple of reshuffling rejigging about 
Baptiste is going to be coming off. I think he's done really well. You can come off because you've done fantastic. Danny Queen, you've done fantastic as well. Sunny Jim. Fenton Herd can come on, I think. But you can play Advanced Playmaker? No, you're going to play as Mazzara. That'll do for now. A throw in then for low of Wigan. I managed to get it, although we have dispossessed them relatively easily. Joe Powell over the top for Parry. That could be offside, but Parry's got a bit of speed about him. That's... I'm not sure what happened there. It all happened a bit faster, if I'm honest. Williams to Powell. Powell puts it bang over the top. Parry was obviously level with the last defender. He has a shot. It deflects off the defender. Heard gets to it, and he, with his first touch, puts it in the back of the net. Actually, not too bad from the ex-West Brom man. And that will bring us up to full time with the majority of the hard work done in the first half. Absolutely fantastic today, boys. Well done. So Wigan then. Okay, so Wigan were around 22nd anyway, so maybe we're, we were expected to beat them. But that drops us still in second place. Six, uh, three points beyond Norwich and two points ahead of Sunderland. Three points ahead of West Brom. Just for those interested if we move forward we're going to be playing Bournemouth so we'll see you in just a jiffy all right just before we come back to the Bournemouth game then however Taylor is apparently uh, getting developing concerns so I'm going to ask Doyle to resolve the issue and see if he's able to have a quick word with Kane Taylor and tell him that if he works hard, he'll get the contract he wants. He's going to try and see what he can do, but he can't make any promises. He said he'll see me at training. We leave the meeting, unable to resolve the happiness. So back to there, we discuss new contract with Kane Taylor. Wanted to have a quick chat to see if there's any concerns at the moment. You seem a bit down and I wanted to see if I could help. I've been thinking about asking for an improved contract, but it means that a lot you've come to speak to me about it so there's no need to worry for the time being thanks boss helpful and encouraged i think that's probably the best outcome we can uh, ask for because he hasn't asked for any money and he's also satisfied that brings us into the championship game for bournemouth then tactical meeting team selection quick pick i am down for this quick pick if i'm honest Conquo and Go, Linz Foster at the left back, Tomlinson on the right, Baptiste and Shipley in the middle, with Quinn at the base of midfield, Taylor as that deep line playmaker, Powell as a Mazala, Candy on the left with an inverted winger roll, Prove it as the advanced playmaker on the right, and Brandt as the advanced forward. Let's get into the game. All right, if we carry the performance into the next match, we'll do well. So if we kick off, skip, 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 and let's just encourage the lads. Right, Bournemouth then with the ball from a free kick Idrissi dizzling and dazzling with Santi showing his TV I'm joking it's Spence to Idrissi and he heads over panic panic over our turn for the free kick then with Shipley to Brands Taylor to a candy candy with the first touch trying to chip the keeper but he doesn't he puts it wide but it will see us through to half time in the dressing room I'm happy with how we've dominated possession so far. So I think if we can try and push that forward a bit, we might be okay. Prove it with the free kick then from that left hand side. I don't think anyone got ahead today, if I'm honest. Shipley to Baptiste. Baptiste, Shipley over the top then. Doesn't quite connect with who we wanted it to, but it goes over to Laird of Bournemouth. To Iwobi. Back to Laird. They're running down the right hand side. He manages to get the ball through the legs of one of our players. Back to Chalov. That's a pretty good shot. Thankfully, it comes off the post. Whatever our player is doing, spinning around, trying to do a pirouette with it on the uh, goal line. Prove it's got the ball. He's dispossessed, and it comes to the end of the highlight. Oh, my gosh. That was all over the place, if I'm honest with you. And they have now got a corner. Outswinger corner to the head of Dickie. Dickie, Dickie, Dickie. And Dickie puts it in the back of the net, which is not what you want to hear. Prove it has got an injury. Wayne Perry can come on, Lewis Orford can come on for Joe Powell and we can see that Ben Williams can come on for, for no one 
and we realistically need to do something about that so we'll probably put him on for Danny Quinn and we'll go with that Actions. Right, let's just go with yep we just swap those over that's fine try and get something else out of them one more and that's going to be really really poop okay well that's really bad that we lost to Bournemouth I don't actually know where Bournemouth are in the, in the league I imagine they're probably up there trying to push for promotion as well to be fair they are not there down in mid table we should have absolutely won that Norwich now 4 points ahead with West Brom just on the same pointage with only goal difference separating us but I want to come back maybe for the fake up third round today so I guess you're going to get to see that you lucky lucky bunch of people you draw that draw Mark Overmars my gosh do you remember that guy he was awesome at uh, Arsenal yeah, I remember him playing for Arsenal. Advance. We're going to skip forward until our team comes out because there's 63 teams. I don't want to do it nice and slow, so we'll speed it up until we get to our team. And we'll see you in... Ooh. Did you see that? It was... I want to say Wolves. Advance to end. Wolves. we got Wolves away at their place so hopefully a nice little payout we'll come back for Sunderland and Wolves match just there as highlighted and if you like this episode then please drop a like comment if you want to comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the very next episode thank you very much for watching